Welcome back to Studio STL presented by Woods Basement Systems. We are joined once again by the legendary George Mayhe for our second Mondays with Mayhe. And we have a lot of new restaurants opening, coming soon, and sadly, a longtime staple closing. George, thanks so much for being here with us today. Always a pleasure. It is always is a great. pleasure. And you, we were joking just now. Yeah, you'll gain five pounds just during this segment I because know. the food is so good and right I now. Love food. And you do too, yeah. which is why we're here. That's it. <laughs> That's why we're here. Okay, so two new places at the City Foundry, Sureste Mexican and Chicken Scratch. How are we feeling about it? Sureste, very good. And Sure, how's you? I know your French is good. How's your Spanish? Oh, my Spanish. You know, I have a degree in it, so it's pretty good. So you know, it means southeast. <laughs> it does. It's from the uh, cuisine from the southeast part of Mexico, which is the Yucatan. And what's interesting about it is it's Mexican cuisine, but if you take a look at some of the items. They look like it's gourmet Mexican. And in fact, it's a street food from, from the Yucatan. And uh, it's just done in a different way. Um, there's some uh, great pork dishes, interesting things with mole. They get whole fish in to do different kinds of ceviche with. It's a, it, it's a really special restaurant. And, and you wouldn't think it was, would be in the middle of a food hall or food court, which some of the Mexican there is kind of prepared and taken out of a bag. This is really special stuff. And, and the, the, the chef is, is, is a really talented guy. St. Louis is really happy, should be really happy to have this guy. And, uh, you know, everything's made from scratch. True, authentic. It, it's just, it's just amazing, and and uh, I I hope that uh, you know people catch on and and want to try some new things because it is a little bit different. But man, it sure is good. And you speaking of scratch, chicken scratch also yeah. just opened up in the city foundry. Tell us a little bit about that one. So that is another familiar concept. We talked about Mexican food, and this is roasted chicken, or, or rather rotisserie, rotisserie chicken. chicken. Excuse oh, me. So good. And you know, I've been to Schnooks, you've been to, to you know, to the to the big box stores. Everybody knows what rotisserie chicken is, but this is <laughs> this is this taken a little bit up a taking level, it up right? Taking a notch, right? And uh, so this is from another fine dining chef, and he has found a fancy French rotisserie that he cooks it on. Takes a very high quality bird seasons it simply and it really it comes out perfectly and it's like well why what makes it so good well these these better chickens taste more like chicken i always say that's the best way to describe it you can get all the flavor it, it, all the flavor. it just tastes it just tastes better so they've got uh, 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 rotisserie chickens in, in different half whole and and quarter uh, portions Really, Every really good side better. dishes. They've got a chicken dip, which is like a French dip Ooh. with chicken, with chicken jus. I love, I love a good chicken. I just like dip. to say jus. <laughs> chicken jus, chicken jus. <laughs> well, the new High Point Drive-In in Kirkwood is also coming very soon. Uh, no, it's here. It's here. It's, it's it, here. It's, it's arrived. This is the third High Point, right? And, you know, the first time I had a High Point burger, I was just like this, and they use a proprietary you know, type of beef, and it's just so good. And I remember the juice is dripping down my. Oh, and I just George, remember you're saying, my mouth water. This is a darn good. I didn't say darn. This is a really good burger. <laughs> and again, this is the High Point does it several different ways. I've uh, never had High Point. You so gotta go. I have to go. This is their new location in. <laughs> And the best part about it is they've always got something crazy with the decor. And this one has a 1972 Shasta camper that's cool protruding that? from the side of the building. And that's all, but you can hang out in the camper while you eat. And it's just, it's worth it going in just to see this crazy thing that they did. Well, it looks really cool. And then the kimchi guys also opened up their second location near WashU. Yeah, it's really, really good chicken. This is, this is marinated, broasted roasted at two temperatures and then sauced with four different sauces and that's kind of geeky but the bottom line is when I was there the other night there was a lot of claims that these are the best wings ever they're that good oh they're the gosh. most tender I've ever had sauced a couple different ways it's just really good and again it's simple things but they figured out a better way to do it so many goodies and really quickly we're running out of time here oh, no. um, I know but you have so much good stuff okay so if people want to subscribe where can they find your work stlmag.com, right? And this is the old, uh, this is the old, this is the, the October issue. This is a really good one because it's got all the, and I'm gonna leave oh, one of these goodies. with you. Oh, I'm excited. This is the best new restaurants <laughs> issue. This is the November one coming out. 
And uh, yeah, this is your private copy. I should have brought well, you a sharpie. Thank you so much. So, you so I can have your autograph. No, no. So you can mark it up and figure out where <laughs> you want to go. It. Well, George, thank you so much. You can read all of his work at stlmag.com backslash dining, or you can subscribe to receive the magazine at home each month. And we'll make sure you have all that information online at studiostl.tv. I can't wait for our next Monday's menu. Thanks, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Can't wait.